I'm not going to do this again. Things are going to be okay. How can you say that? When at Chuma she told me that I wouldn't be second choice. I never was. How does this not make me second choice when I could be dying somewhere? And you'd still have to pick up that call and go to Lang. These are extremes, Eve. You're talking in extremes. It's the reality. You're living in hypotheticals again. I thought we were past that. I thought we were done with those. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. And whatever they got brewing, it's going to take a long fucking time. And whatever we got brewing here, I'll be here. Doing whatever I can. To get it on his feet. This ain't easy for me either. Seems like it just took two conversations for you to be convinced. Hmm. I always say that you're very observant. That you're always very detailed with the things you notice. But my God, you've missed the details here. So if you feel like you've taken all my feelings and you've invalidated them every single time I talk to you. What about, about mine? This. What about what I want? You're getting everything you want. What's the problem? You can have that too. You knew this, this, this option was on the table and you told me just a couple of days ago that you were okay with whatever I decided. That you'd be by my side and yet here I choose something and, and, and all of a sudden this is, this, is, this is a huge fucking problem. I, that all also went out the window. So why, why, did, why did you, you promise? And that's after you promised me that I wouldn't feel like second option, that I wouldn't be second option and that nothing would change. And here you go. Rolling back to... It's business, when we, Eve. It's business. It's, it's not. I am still going to achieve the things that, have, that we've always dreamt of together. With you. Nothing needs to change. Nothing. I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving Vito. I just have work to do elsewhere. And it seems like, like you're pushing me away. You're just, you're just using my emotions as an excuse. How am I using your emotions? How? I'm giving it to you straight. As soon as you don't like something I don't say, you use another excuse saying that I'm pushing you away when, in the matter of fact, you're pushing me away by doing this and the way you're doing it. the way I'm doing it. I'm telling you the truth of things. To yeah. your face. When I, when, I, when I asked you if there was conditions, you said there was none, but there's so many conditions, you just don't realize it. Just because Lang treated you one way in the past doesn't mean he's going to do the same to me. We have, we have two different people. You throw a pebble in the lake, it's going to bounce, bounce three, four times, but it's never going to bounce in the same spot. You need to stop comparing your story with mine. Because it's not going to be the same. I'm forging my own path. Nothing needs to change. And only time will tell. But I still need you by my side. 
I still love you to fucking death. You're the goddamn world to me. Depends how long Lang allows you to love me. Please get in the car. I hate it when you walk away like this. You said you would never walk away. You'd be there with me. Whatever decision I made, you're walking away. Let me prove to you that, that, that whatever visions you have on all this, or whatever opinions you have of it, that, that, that it's wrong. You change. Your actions don't match your words. Do you realize that? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Everything you said at the pier that day. Everything you said. Every single time we talk. To the next moment. It just doesn't line up. Like what? How do I mean the world to you, but... You can still put anybody else above me. It's business, sweetheart. That doesn't mean I love Lang more than I love you. Two completely it's different it's things. About. It's oil and water. Oil and fucking water, Eve. They don't mix. Please. Don't do this. You're expecting my support, but where's... You're expecting all my support to go to you while you do this, but... Where's your support? I have always supported you. Always. In everything you've done. And I will continue what supporting happens, you. What happens when I do need you? Then I'll be there. But I'll fucking be there. And again, what happens? Lang calls. Stop. Stop with the hypotheticals. Stop it. You're letting them corrupt you. You're overthinking way too goddamn much. Because this is what is happening. I have to live my life under his thumb again. No, you don't. You are free from whatever chains you think you had. You're wrong. Let me prove you wrong. Please don't walk away. Get in the car. Let's go to this debate. I thought you were going to keep walking down the street. Then you'll just say I'm pushing you away again. Come on. When all when all I'm doing is just hurting. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm too optimistic. But I feel we can get things done. I feel like everything is gonna be okay. And maybe it's not gonna be perfect. Yes, there's gonna be bumps in the fucking road. But things are gonna be okay, sweetheart. They're gonna be fine. I'm gonna make sure they are. I need you to trust me with this. Can you do that for me? I think this is gonna open a lot of doors. I, I've been thinking a lot about this, okay? And it, it, it's, it fucking sucks that you think that I thought about this over like two fucking days. It's not the case. Over two meetings or whatever.
Didn't expect to hear that from you. Look, I, um... I promised myself one day... That I'd make you... Happy. As long as you were by my side, and I know that's... It's not looking as good right now. But that's still part of my priorities. You promised me a lot of things in your vows. You might have committed to them for the past five years. But right now... Feels like my whole world has just been shattered. Promise to you, a far, far cheaper gun license. 